Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today is our monthly, bi-monthly, <laughs> by now I don't even know, it's every few months or so. I try to do it once a month, but yeah, it's new products I've been trying. Let's be honest, I really just do it when my box starts to get full. So, new products that I have or new products that I've been trying and some speed reviews and my opinions on them. Quite a few of them I am wearing today and I'm so excited to share these with you because this look is absolutely stunning. Let's just jump right on in. So I started out with grabbing my eyeshadow palettes. I have been trying quite a few new eyeshadow palettes lately, which is pretty surprising. Normally I don't, you know, try too many of those. I think I try more face palettes than anything or highlighters just because I love them so much. But the first one that I've been trying is the Mary Jane palette from Melt Cosmetics. This is the third Melt Cosmetics palette I've tried, I think, because I have the two Beetlejuice ones and then I have this one. And it is just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to kind of turn it like this, that way the mirror doesn't blind you guys. This is what it looks like. It's smoky, it's cool toned, it's silver, it's glittery, it's grungy. <laughs> it's really just beautiful. And I love the packaging. These little rhinestones in here like move around when you shake them. I think it's super beautiful. I love Milk Cosmetics Formula. My only complaint with this is one of the shades in here. I mean, this one right here is so loosely like pressed in there that once you dip a brush or your finger in, it just falls apart pretty much. It crumbles. Other than that, this is a beautiful palette. I got it from Sephora, and I have been loving it lately. So the next palette I have, I actually found at Ross for like $14. <laughs> this is from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Coral Blossom palette, and I picked this up because I thought it would be absolutely perfect for spring and summertime. And that is what she looks like. I love the coral colors. I love the pop of purple. I just love this so much. I've used it twice now. And I really do love how natural and just springy slash summery this is. It's very pigmented. The shimmers are beautiful. And I just love the array of mattes that we get in here. They're so easy to blend out, super buildable, and I just really like this palette. Now, kind of going along with eyes, I do have the new Pat McGrath and Bridgerton collection. I just picked this up today, actually, from Sephora. So I have the eyeshadow palette. This is the Belle of the Ball Mothership palette. This is $65, I believe. And again, I'm just going to turn it upside down to show you so the mirror does not blind you guys. So this is on my eyes today. I used this color over here, and then I used this one to blend it out. This is kind of in the center of my lid, and then this is on my brow bone in my inner corner. So I used everything but this greenish gold and then the bluey silver in the middle. Um, I will be using those, though, because they're absolutely stunning. Pat McGrath's Shimmer Formula is amazing. This is my first time trying the mattes, though. And there's really only one true matte in the palette, but it is so nice. I love this eye look. I think it looks fantastic. It did throw me off a bit because the shimmer on my eye looks gold, but in the palette, the one that I used looks rosy. I'll show you again. This is the one I used on my lid. It looks very gold. Maybe it's just the way the light catches it and it looks when I, you know, look at it, but it does look gold to me. I think it's beautiful nonetheless. And then we have this interesting thing. It's actually a face palette. Um, I told you guys I love trying face palettes. So we have the Blushing Delights Blush and Highlighter Box. This looks super vintage, super elegant. It brings me back to my pageant days when things were just things were good. So yes, this is what it looks like. Another Pat McGrath and Bridgerton collaboration. So you have a highlighter up here and this is called Champagne Venus. And then you have this blush over here is called Aphrodisia. Aphrodisia. Then you have Budding Romance and you have Berry Brilliance. So I used Berry Brilliance as a blush today. And then the highlighter on my cheekbones and my nose. Beautiful. These are baked formulas. I do think the packaging from the outside looks absolutely beautiful and absolutely so unique. But when you open it up and you see how small these little pans are compared to how big the packaging is and just how much excess space that you have, I do feel like it's a bit too much. It's a bit obnoxious and just a waste of some packaging. 
but I think the formula is fantastic. I think these are going to be super nice for summertime and I'm super excited to have this in my collection. I feel super bougie now. So moving on to the rest of my face stuff, um, I really have the majority of face stuff this time and then three lip products at the end. If you guys hear rustling, Sassy, instead of sleeping like she should be this late at night, is having a playtime on the bed. So she's just wallowing and making noise and coming my way. Are you gonna come? I think she's gonna come, come on. Nope. She's gonna bite her tush. So we'll go right ahead and get started. If she decides to come over here, I'll let her say hi. So I have one kind of primer-ish product. Yeah, I was double checking because I have everything laid out in front of me. This is from Revolution Pro. I'm a huge Makeup Revolution fan. This is their Pro line. It is the Glow Skin Perfector. It is a color correcting enhancer in the shade Gold. It says it has light reflecting technology in it. High definition, radiance, and luminous skin finish. It did look like Gold was the only like shade that they had. I kind of put it on my hand you guys can see just how like glowy my hand is. I use this as a primer, but you can wear it alone. It's just very glowy. And I've actually been looking for a nice um, glowy primer. This does it. It says, beautifying glow enhancer with light reflecting technology to give the skin a luminous glow. Contains an ingredient complex to help keep skin hydrated. Apply to face and body for all over radiance. Beautiful. I love this. I love how like, shiny the packaging is i tried it on my hand at ulta and i'm like yeah i have to get it so the next time i went in i grabbed it and i do not regret it at all she did decide to come say hello she is up she's awake she's my butt <laughs> she's gonna be in my lap and let's go over our foundations shall we i have four foundations and one of these is definitely a standout for me so i'll leave that one for last I have here a Revlon Photo Ready Candid Glow Foundation. This is a Moisture Glow Anti-Pollution Foundation in the shade 320 or Tawny. This is really nice. I've been tanning. Don't know if you guys can tell. So I've been looking for a few foundations that kind of match me since all my other ones are way too light at this time. And this is a really nice one. It gives me more like tinted moisturizer vibes because it's very light coverage but it does not feel like makeup. It almost feels like skincare. It just feels really nice, like a moisturizer, but it has a bit of a tint to it. Very light coverage. If you can find it, I highly recommend it. I found it at Big Lots. Um, it was on sale and I got the concealer as well. I'll just go ahead and show you that because it is the only concealer I have that's new. This is their Candid Photo Ready Concealer in the shade Sand. I actually saw Make Me Up Missa. I think that's her name on here love watching her eyeshadow tutorials i saw she uses this as an eye primer often so i decided to get it and i do like it as a concealer because it doesn't crease but i decided to try it as an eye primer as well today it did very well so i am impressed because usually concealer is as eye primers on me will crease 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 but this has been on for quite some time today probably six plus hours and it has yet to crease, it has yet to look any kind of cakey or anything, so I'm super impressed with these two. Again, I found them at Big Lots. I say I found them at Big Lots simply because I don't know if it's discontinued. I haven't seen it in any other store, so it might be discontinued and maybe like just have, you know, Big Lots type of deal. Anyway, moving on, the next one I have is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is in the shade Porcelain. It's not my shade right now, it's way too light, but uh... I got sent this for free from Influencer, and on there I have not updated my foundation shade or like my skin tone to tan or medium or whatever you want to call it. I'd probably say light medium right now, but yeah, this my skin is fair on there and they sent this to me. So I did try it out, but uh, I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, so there's that. It does have a really nice finish though, and I love their concealer for this. There's that one. It is very matte though. So if you have dry skin, I'd stay away from that. Other than that, I liked it. It had really nice coverage. Next up is the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm in the shade Light. I looked for this everywhere. Could not find it. I was very intrigued by a foundation balm. 
So yes, this is the shade light, but it matches me very nicely. It's more of a medium. I feel like it's, you know, more of a medium shade. You can tell I've been using it. I really like it. Very hydrating. This is one of the few foundations I do not like to set with powder because it looks so beautiful on its own. It's a nice medium coverage. It's buildable, hydrating, glowy. It's just beautiful. This is going to be my summertime foundation for sure. Along with my fourth and final one that is my favorite of the four. I'm wearing her today. It's like a your skin but better situation. The Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This, I ordered it online. My mom got it for me with a gift card. And it's the shade 7 or neutral medium. And when it came in, I'm like, mmm, looks kind of yellow. But she matches me perfectly. I love it. It is truly a light to medium coverage, I'd say, but super buildable. Like today, I put two layers on just to see how she would build. I did not have a problem with her. I love her. You can tell I've definitely been using it a bit. I've used it. This is probably but my fourth time using it today. Fourth or fifth time, I'd say. It's beautiful. I highly recommend you try it out if you're kind of bougie like me and you like high-end products. She's beautiful. She's not going to be as full coverage probably as their Flawless Filter Foundation is, but it's very nice. I highly recommend that one. And then these aren't really, these are not for me. I have my own big one of this. Matter of fact, she's over here, but I have to keep shaking her up. So these are from Temptu. Um, they're for an airbrush machine. And this is shade five. This is my shade. And this is my big one. These are my babies for my clients. Um, I have a big prom event coming up where I'm helping a stylist. She's doing hair. I'm doing all the makeup. Then I also have my own girl that day. So yeah. I have a lot of new foundations. I had these before, but they all kind of ran out on me, so I ordered a new pack and they just got here today. So these are not for myself, these are for my clients, but this is mine and I love this foundation so much. It's so glowy. I love Temptu products and if you have not tried an airbrush machine, Temptu is the best one to get. Like I know there's a lot of cheap ones out there and I've tried them, like there's a Luminous and I've tried that and it sucked. <laughs> Temptu is truly the best one I've tried. And I feel like with that, it's almost like skincare. Like you get what you pay for. If it's a $20 sprayer, you're not gonna get, you know, much use out of it. It's gonna mess up. It's just not gonna work. It's gonna be patchy and uneven. So it really does depend on how much you pay of how good quality a sprayer you're gonna get. I mean, after all, it is a machine, you know? Next up, I have a couple of sun care products, which is super fun. My mom got sent these two from her influencer. She doesn't really use sunscreen, but they're from Shishido? Shishido? Shishido, I think. It's a, I believe it's a Japanese brand, don't quote me, but they sent her two of their sun care products. We have a dual sun care oil-free hyaluronic acid, and then we have a dual sun care fresh moisture with hyaluronic acid. So an oil-free and then like a more moisturizing one. This one has a bit of a tint to it, and this one is just white. I like them both. I love me some sunscreen so especially like I'm laying in artificial sun right now but like when it comes time for summer and I'm just being real with you guys usually I'm really pasty so I tend to bake really easily um like my favorite MUA on here it's Reese's Dead would say my natural skin tone is like uncooked chicken so I tend to burn very easily and gotta have me some good sun care products definitely adding these to my summer bag and I've been using them I really like them they do not leave a white cast they kind of they do have a sunscreen smell but it's not overwhelming like you know sunscreens can be and I really like that about them okay I have quite a few more products but the next ones I'm going to be showing you guys are all cream products because with summertime coming up I've been all about some dewy skin but my problem with that is I always struggle to find good cream products that I actually like whether it's them applying patchy on me, or I'm just not really sure how to use them, or I don't like the colors, or I'm never going to use that much product. <laughs> I just go through a lot, and I just tend to not really like any cream products that I try. These are some I've been trying lately that I actually do like. So there's a Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlighter. This is supposed to be a good Charlotte Tilbury dupe. This is the medium shade. It's Gleam. So they have like a light champagne, this one, and then like a dark gold, I believe. This is the one I picked out. And so you take this, 
top off and it's got a cushion on it and you twist this to open it squeeze it product comes out and you just twist it again to close it so of course i have that primer swatched on my hand but over here i'll swatch this she's not very intense um i did put her on under my makeup because i've been doing that is it under mapping i want to say it's called under mapping where you kind of cream or liquid bronze blush and highlight and then put on your foundation but you kind of do it intense so you know it's still there I like to do that before I put my foundation on so I did try this today I've tried it quite a few times I actually really do like this because it's nice and buildable and it does blend out very easily so that is a liquid highlighter that I approve of and I really don't have that many liquid highlighters just because I don't like them I really do prefer powder but and I did use a powder on top of it so this is what I'm still trying to figure out. I'm just kind of meh about it so far. It's from LA Colors. I got it from the Dollar Tree. And it is their cream gel blush in the shade Adorned. Now, I'm going to swatch this. I think the color is absolutely beautiful. And they did actually have quite a few shades of this. Um, it just kind of all starts to spill out like as soon as you open it. And I'm not okay with that. <laughs> it's just so messy. Here's what she looks like and blended out. I don't know I just it is a pretty color but I feel like on me it would just look like a rash <laughs> and maybe it would be fine if I tried it under makeup but I've tried it like on top of my foundation each time I've used it I haven't really like under mapped with it so I will try it but so far I'm just kind of eh um it's a thicker consistency but it's it's just weird I'm just not used to cream or cream gel blushes so I'll continue to work with it Keep you guys updated if i absolutely love it i'll post about it <laughs> but for now she's kind of meh but it was from the dollar tree so i guess you can't really complain you know next up i have two bronzers a cream right a cream bronzer or like a gel i guess it's cream because it means in a pan and then a liquid bronzer which i've never used until i bought this this is from the simpsons collection with makeup revolution i think this is the second collaboration they've done with the simpsons second or third this is their liquid bronzer it's got a bit of shimmer to it this is absolutely beautiful it blends out like a dream i did use this before i put on my foundation and then of course i bronzed on top of it it is absolutely stunning if you want a nice glow to your skin and something that's easy to blend out i do feel like it's nice for all skin tones except for of course my darker skinned babes probably aren't going to be able to use this because I think this was the only shade and it's kind of medium, you know? So that is sad. I do wish they'd be a bit more inclusive and make some more shades. If you're gonna make one, you can make more. You can make more. Um, however, if you find that you think that'll be a nice color for you, I do think it's a nice product. The next one that I have is from Tower 28. Yeah, I bought a Tower 28 product with that gift card that my mom had. <laughs> this is a Bronzino bronzer in the shade west coast i like this it's a bit shimmery i'll swatch it this is like the medium shade just look at how like glittery that is i do have some other swatches over here on my hand like you can see those blushes down there just ignore that but there she is blended out it's absolutely stunning it's gonna leave you with such a nice glow on the skin i've actually been loving this and i didn't expect to like it this is like one of those products, you know, where my mom's like, well, we have $20 left on the gift card and just, just pick something. And I scrolled and I scrolled and I scrolled and I scrolled and I didn't know what to get. So I saw this and I'm like, mm, well, you know, I, I want to try some more cream products, so why not? And I really didn't know what shade to get. I didn't know if I was going to like it, <laughs> but I actually do. I'm impressed and they, they caught my attention, so good for them. So those are my creams and now we have a few powders to talk about. This one is not new to my collection um, because I had it in a palette, but it was a trio palette and I finished the highlighter and I loved the blush and I hated the bronzer. So I bought just the big blush and I got rid of the palette. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush in the shade Beachy Peach. It is my favorite blush. I love it so much. It is so natural and so glowy. It is absolutely fantastic. It's hard to find though. I found this at CVS, it was the very last one, and I seem to only be able to find it online other than that. So if you see it out, definitely grab it. It's absolutely beautiful. 
I, the only complaint I have is it's rather hardly packed, like harshly packed in this little pan. And sometimes a brush, unless it's a very dense brush, it can be hard to apply it or get any with. So I do actually like the fact that if you lift the product up, it comes with a mirror, but it also comes with an applicator. You see my eye? Where was it? Come on. Hi. Hi, eye. Anyway, it comes with an applicator. Squirrel. The green side is to grab the product with and apply it. And then this pink side is to actually blend it out. And it does work. Applicator does a great job. Better than a brush would, in my opinion. Because I don't really have any dense blush brushes. You know? So... Next up, I tried a City Bronzer from Maybelline, and it's the packaging for me. <laughs> the packaging, when I saw it at Big Lots, just drew me in. I'm like, ooh, it's giving tropical, it's giving beach. And I liked it. This is their City Bronzer in the shade 300. Do we have an actual name, or is it just 300? I think it's just 300. I'll let you kind of, you see, like, right there, this is 300. I think that's the actual name here. Um... It's kind of light. It's a bit shimmery. It's it's okay. It's not great. It's not fantastic. It's it's okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it. I am going to keep it because I'm obsessed with bronzers. But, you know, I'm curious, though, because I did watch that uh, documentary, Not So Pretty, you know, and then the first episode was talking about... This is completely off topic. I know I'm having a lot of squirrel moments right now, but... The first episode is talking about makeup and how talcum powder, aka talc, um, grows next to asbestos in nature most often. And talc in makeup products has actually, like, supposedly been leading people to get mesothelioma, which is super scary because it's incurable and very dangerous. And I've been kind of terrified lately. But then again, like, I've been using makeup for how long and I didn't really realize that, you know? And so I was just looking to see if it has talc in it. And lo and behold, talc is the number one ingredient. Yeah. At this point, just... I'm just kidding. Please don't. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a controversial subject, you know. But I was going to go through my products and kind of look at everything that has talc in it. And possibly debate on you know like did do I really want to get rid of this stuff but I'm not even gonna bother because like seriously I just glanced through this and it's the first product in here it's the first ingredient you know what I mean and I'm just terrified that I'll, the majority of my stuff is gonna have talc in it so I'm just what's the point I'm I can't go clean <laughs> I can't because I have just too many products and I can't get rid of that stuff you know I'm also an artist, and I know it would be hard to have a kit with all clean products in it. Controversial, I know, but it's just me. So, you know. And now I'm reading the back of this. I don't even think this next one has ingredients on it, though. It doesn't, which is super sketch. Maybe the box did. I don't know. I threw the box away. Anyway, I'm so sorry for that. Hate me if you want. It's okay. I'll remember our time together. Anyway, this is the Simpsons Revolution highlighter it is a ombre highlight again my girl Teresa put me on this because she wore it in her last makeup bingo video and said that it is fantastic it's ombre it's like lighter at the top and then more of like a tannish darker champagne color at the bottom I've only swatched it I've not put it on my face because I'm going to do a tiktok reviewing it and see if Teresa's word is true or not babe we're gonna put you to the test I'm just I'm just kidding but yeah if it's shit I'm totally saying it <laughs> I'll be the first to say it. I'll be the first to say it. So, yeah, we're going to try that out in a TikTok. Just couldn't be today, though, because I tried my Bridgerton stuff, and I was like, yay, bougie products. But, um, yeah, that's coming, and it's coming soon. Maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm just, it's late. I've had a long day. I passed my second semester of nursing school today because I passed my last exam. And it's been a long day, so I'm just wound up, I guess, you know, from excitement, I guess. <laughs> Easily distracted tonight, so let's just move on. I have three lip products. I've got two from the Dollar Tree. I have here 
the Grape LA Colors Jelly Balm. This is so cute. They had a lot of flavors or like scents, I guess. It was a lip balm, but it feels like a gloss when it goes on. And it smells so good. It's literally purple. How cute is that? Again, this is the grape scent. It smells yummy. I wish it tasted yummy. And I know I'm so weird for saying that, but how cool would that be? Maybe I want to eat it. Maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, LA Colors Roll On Gloss. This is the coconut scent. This was so nostalgic to me. I don't know why, but when I saw all these little roll on glosses, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> how cute. So yeah. I'm like, look at that. They're so easy to use. So convenient. Yes, I just got lipstick all over it. And no, I don't care. It smells good. Not quite as strong as the balm, but it still smells good. You know, I like it. I like what LA Colors is doing. Bringing back some, like, nostalgia. And then I kind of like what they're doing jumping on the cream product train, like with the cream blushes. I just have to figure out how it's best for me to use that product. Because right now, I just can't figure it out. So... We'll see how that goes. <laughs> the last product I have for you, last one. Are you guys ready? I saw everybody talking about this on TikTok, these Tarte Maracuja lip plumps. Everybody's like, they're amazing. They're like a lipstick, but it's like a gloss at the same time. I'm like, what are you talking about? A lipstick, but a lip gloss. How does that make sense again? So I didn't ask. I just went and got one and tried it myself. This is in the shade Peachy Beige. This is an interesting product. Um, but it's oddly enough my new favorite lipstick like ever. So this is what peachy beige looks like. It's very close to my, I have lipstick on now. But if I didn't have lipstick on, it'd be very close to my natural lip color. You actually take and click this down here to move the lipstick up and apply it. And it is tinted. It has color. But it literally goes on like a gloss and it stays for so long on your lips. It does have a slight plumping effect to it, but it's nothing you know, like, too intense. I love the smell of it. I love the color of it. I love just the longevity of it and how it makes my lips look. They look so healthy. Like, my lips, but 10 times better. And they really do look plump after this. So, highly recommend this. I kind of want to try... They have a color that looks like Black Honey from Clinique. And I'm thinking about picking that one up. How cute would that be? Like, a vampy lip. Love that. So, yeah. That's everything I have for you guys.